We're back. Here we go. Fire TV. We're going to continue. We're not going to choose the store use. We're doing home use. Here we go. Searching for your remote. So then it says, tap the home button to pair. Aha. And we are about to connect this customer's TV to their network. We will pause for now. Okay, we paused it for about uh, five minutes or so since the last video. Um, update just finally reached the end and here we go. Again, pardon the appearance. My apologies, people. Just trying to do a video and of course there's a nice reflective surface. And uh, I'm in a very warm home. All right, ooh, DTS, nice. This TV has gotten amazing reviews. Uh, I've been looking forward to mounting this TV and doing this and setting it up. So I figured since this is my first time, I'll uh, do it in front of all of you. Okay, here we go. And again, this is Fire TV, so this will be controlled by Alexa. This will be, if you have an Amazon Prime and you do for Amazon Movies, this TV is perfect for you. We'll see what other apps are obviously in here. But of course, we're going to, you know, get the customer to log in with their Amazon Prime account and have fun with this. Their son, this is for their son. As you can see, the little Legos and Mario and other characters over here. You know, it's a typical boy zoom. Uh, I want to say he's uh, six. Five or six years old. Really nice kid. Really happy I could do this for him. Oh wow, so it's checking again. Okay, so just on, while we're waiting for this to work. Welcome to your new TV. Ooh, hey. Fire TV Edition is a smart TV that seamlessly integrates your favorite streaming content and live TV broadcasts on one home screen. And you can control it all with just your voice using the voice remote with Alexa. With the Fire TV experience built in, you can enjoy access to tens of thousands of channels, apps, and Alexa skills, including popular content from Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, HBO, and a whole lot more. To access live TV broadcasts, simply plug in an HD antenna to the back of your TV and scan for available channels. Then, see what's on now from the home screen or the channel guide. Your TV comes with the voice remote with Alexa. Easily jump to Prime Video, Netflix, or the on-screen channel guide with quick access buttons or with your voice. Once signed in with your Amazon account, use your voice to ask Alexa to search, launch, and control content, or switch to other inputs like gaming consoles, cable, or Blu-ray players. Alexa, tune to ABC. Use your voice to search for something new or find a favorite. Alexa, find Victoria. Then use your remote to select the option you would like to watch. Control playback of live broadcast television or streaming content. Alexa, pause. Ask Alexa to check sports scores, get the latest news, or play music like this. Alexa, play today's hits. After pairing your devices in the Alexa app, you can control your Fire TV edition with your favorite Echo device, hands-free. Alexa, volume up on Fire TV. And remember, Alexa is always getting smarter and has tens of thousands of skills. You can do everything from ordering food from Grubhub to controlling your smart home. Alexa, dim the living room lights. Now that you've seen what your new TV can do, you'll need to select your experience. After this video, you'll get the option to select between a full and basic Fire TV Edition experience and sign in with your Amazon account. If you don't have an Amazon account, you can create a free one right from your TV. If you select the basic experience, you will have access to live TV broadcasts and a limited selection of apps, but you won't have access to the full app store, voice control, or any Alexa skills. If you decide to use the basic experience, you can always sign in or create a free Amazon account later for the full experience. Enjoy your new Fire TV edition. Wow, talk about easy. Yeah, we're not going to do basic. Of course we're going to do full. 
I already have an Amazon account. All right, we will uh, pause for now, get our customer to sign in. All right, here we are. Customer logged into uh, their Amazon account, and we are here. Customer's son was just uh, watching YouTube. There you go. All right, wow, I guess we're on Firefox, Netflix. They'll log into everything else. Oh, and the input. Yeah, there's an Apple TV already in here. So I wonder if I can get in here and label. Is there a settings option? There should be a settings option. I don't see why there wouldn't be. Remote seems very responsive. Uh, also seems to be... Oh yeah, it's infrared. Alright, so you select the inputs. Go into the list. Input use. Press the three dots at the right, which would then say options. Okay, you could do that. So we'll see at the bottom right, it says options. I'm going to press the three dots. Changes the device name. Yep, that is Apple TV. So, oh look, it already has. Apple TV has something already there. Boom. Check that out. Way to go, Toshiba and Amazon. Very, very convenient. All right, so we are back out here. At the home screen, after we did this, uh, if you've gotten, if you have a Fire Stick or a Fire TV, you're very familiar with all of these. All these menus, they're all the same. Uh, notifications, good. Display, ah, uh, yes. Let's check to make sure that the display is picture settings. Make sure we're good. <clears throat> okay, picture mode standard, good. We don't have to necessarily worry about. That, uh, white balance, good, gamma, no, we're good. Impact noise reduction, dynamic noise reduction, edge enhancer, HDMI input mode, 2.2, nice. Oh, yeah, 2.0, sorry. Very cool. All right, I kind of like that it has all these features. Sound display. Anything that we have to worry about? Okay, 4x3 stretch. Yeah, I guess we'll stretch it because it's a... No, you know what? Keep it. If it's supposed to be 4x3, let it stay 4x3. Okay, when it powers on, do you want it to go to the home or to the last input you were watching? We'll let it power on to the Amazon home screen. Audio mixing and navigation sounds. That's a little... You hear the little tick, that's what that is. <clears throat> oh, a screensaver, very nice. Very cool, yep, we'll just let that do that, okay, good. Uh, the CEC control. Um, we shouldn't have to really worry about that. So, generally, the AV community doesn't keep this on. But for people that don't have complex setups and don't use setups the way that we like to do this, they'll keep it on, but the AV guys keep this off. So the uh, HDMI CEC control is basically control with your HDMI. It's kind of like saying if you had a, a Blu-ray player and then that passed through a surround sound system and then that passed through then to the TV, you could turn on your Blu-ray player, and then it'll power on the receiver to the correct input, and then the TV onto the correct input, and everything will be controlled basically with one touch. It's not as 100%, because that's like saying if you were watching TV and you wanted to turn off your Blu-ray player, if you powered it off, sometimes that could turn the TV and whatever else that it's connected to off. It's one of many reasons why us AV guys don't keep HDMI device control on. But this says it allows your TV to control H uh, to control CEC capable HDMI devices using your TV remote. Playback navigation, power on, power off can all be accomplished via a single TV remote. It's good, you know, but we my clients tend to have uh, universal remotes, etc., and other things that can handle all that. Applications, live TV. I wonder if there is an actual. No, we're not doing any sort of channel scan. There's nothing on here. 
Mm. Okay, yeah, we don't have any sort of TV cable in here. This is strictly a streaming TV, and uh, customers are going to be using a uh, an Apple TV, as you saw. <clears throat> okay, so we don't have to worry about that. The controllers, it's got Alexa built in. Do we even have to tell her what to do? Ooh. Yes, give a voice command. So it says to turn on with Alexa. It's currently turned off. Allow your TV to automatically turn on when you give voice commands through a linked Alexa-enabled Alexa device. Enabling this setting may increase your TV's power consumption. So I think he does have a uh, an echo in here. Yeah, there is an echo. There's an echo dot right there. So customer told me she does have it set up or does have one for her son in here. So we're going to make sure that's on. This way it's ready to go for them. Preferences, there's parental controls, privacy, data monitoring, notifications, <clears throat> featured content, the location, time zone, language, and metric units. Sleep timer, device and software, accessibility, help, and my account. Very, very cool, very simple. Seems like everything that what uh, somebody who doesn't want a cable box seems pretty simple and seems like what might anybody want to use. YouTube. Let's load his YouTube content. I think he just had a video. Yeah, he did have a video on. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, this looks like a good movie. Very, very, very cool. Wow. Wow. We should remind you that this is a 4K television. Picture on this looks phenomenal. So this is a, you know, are there better TVs? Yes. Are there worse TVs? Absolutely. But we're going to tell you for the price of this 43 inch Toshiba TV, you know, we're not being endorsed by them or by uh, Amazon. We're just saying for something that's in the 200 to two to three hundred dollar range for this size TV, this is pretty good. And with all the features that are built in, it's a pretty decent uh, purchase over here. Okay. We are going to stop the video and we will say hopefully you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Ah, uh, yes, we are back. Sorry, forgot to show you with the remote control how there is the voice feature function. So we're going to press the microphone button and we'll show you how it loads or, or we didn't even test it out, but we're going to do it right now. Load Netflix. Here's Netflix. Boom. So back to YouTube. There you go, guys. Look. That's simple. I'm going to lower the volume. You really can't ask for anything that's more simple than that because if you don't want to press any buttons to have to navigate through menus and learn what the screens that everything that I just toggled through, at least you could just tell the TV what to do. So, pretty simple when it comes to voice control. All right. Uh, this is Russ at Long Island Installations. Thanks for watching, and again, please subscribe.